The first Lama said there are three people in the addition of Kobe Shabun Mukhari. He said, number one, Rodulun Asobati U Al a man that was stricken by poverty. The second man is Rodulun Asobati U Da Ihatun Istahat Malahu, a man who was afflicted by a disaster that destroyed his wealth. Maybe flood, maybe fire incident, maybe armed robbers, maybe kidnappers, and so on and so forth. And all his money was taken away. If two people can stand as guarantors that this man, he was actually afflicted by this uh, tribulation, he can also beg. And once he's able to achieve what he requires, he should also go and start working. The fourth person is Rodulun Tahammala Hamalatan. A man, there are two meanings to Tahammala Hamala. A man whose relative, whose paternal relative, took the soul of another person by accident and was required to pay dia. Dia, as of this money, is about 106 or 109 million. That is if you take the soul of one person by mistake. 109 million. So the reason why Almighty Allah has legislated dia is because you may accidentally kill the breadwinner of a particular family. Now he has died. Who will take care of his family? That's why you say you have to pay the dia so that they can at least get something to keep their life going on. Do you understand? So if your paternal relative has killed somebody by accident, every one of you has died and you must turn. You have to contribute money to, to pay it. The second meaning is a man who took up the debts of another person. Now, this man was owing someone. The person said, I will disgrace you this morning. You are lying if you don't pay me. You are going to police station. Say, ah, please, if you hear me, I will pay you. Then the date you agreed to pay reached, and you could not get money. You are allowed to go to the market and say, hey, Daniel, let's get busy. Uh, so you can beg in order to pay the debt owed by another person. So these are the three people mentioned in the hadith.